Okay, right, so um, just a quick way on how to edit photos and save them out. So on the left hand side in the folders, in this one, in here, I have Whitby and here's the raw photographs um, from your camera. So you can go through them, you can see they'll say raw, and can you see this little uh, brush? That means that they've been edited. So I'm going to go through this one here, as you can see, it's a little poor. It's very, very overexposed. So um, let's go in and try and work some things on it. So first of all, I'm going to rotate it. So we have rotate here. I'm going to rotate it counterclockwise. So we've got the right way. And then on the left, on the right hand side, we've got the edits. So you can pick presets. So let's see whether I can get this, the um, exposure down a bit. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit better. Um, but I think I want to bring it down a bit more. So if you actually click on the icon, you can change, you can change it, rather than just in stops. So let's bring it down a bit. The problem now is this has gone a bit dark, and the, and your camera has what's called active delighting. So we can turn that on, and you should see that it actually brings the shadows up, and you can use that to get your shadows a lot, a lot brighter, without affecting the whole photograph. Um, other useful thing, let's say that um, it was a little bit skewed and I wanted this to be horizontal. You can click on straighten and then draw a line. And that will straighten that up. As you can see actually it's bent that, but you can see the idea. So let's say again that I wanted to, I don't know, use this centre as the straight, as the vertical. Draw a line. There we go. That is now vertical. So, let's have a look at what else we can do. Same again, in the straighten, you can do it, yeah, you can do it here, move it ever so slightly if you want. So, let's have a look, so white balance, so this is a little bit on the bright side, and I could do something like, okay, let's say that we took it on a cloudy day, and it would, you'll see, it's just made it a little bit richer. But the same again, you can move move these around, so if I want it to be a little bit more warmer, I can move it that way, or, or whatever. So, I'm happy with my picture, I've rotated it, um, and whatever. Um, but now is the main part, is how to actually get the picture out. So actually, you haven't changed this picture at all. You've changed the settings of it, but the original photograph is never changed. That's the beauty of this kind of software. So you can't ruin your photograph, but to get it out, you have to go to convert files which is there okay so i'm going to make it a jpeg i've picked excellent quality which means it will be quite big but it'll be very good quality okay it says use the source folder but i'm actually going to pick my own so i'm going to put it on the desktop and put it in reach on the desktop okay and that is it if you hit start you should see a little countdown timer running here. So now if I go into reach on here, when I can see it, there is the edited photograph. Okay, there we go. And that is it. I hope that helps.